Alright, so the significance of the scene is that it shows uh, California as a caring and honorable personalities towards Caesar and how much she loves Caesar and it also shows that how arrogant Caesar is and ambitious he is to go to the circle. In the next act, Calpurnia is trying to stop Caesar from going to the meeting because she thinks that Caesar might die. Nor heaven nor earth have been at peace tonight. Darius had Calpurnia in her slave cried out. Oh, oh, they murdered Caesar. What mean you, Caesar, to think forth? You shall not stir out of this house today. Caesar shall forth. Caesar shall forth. Caesar shall forth. The things that threaten me. <laughs> Never look out of my back. When they, when they shall see the face of Caesar, their friend. Caesar, I have never stood on ceremonies, yet now they frighten me. Besides, the things we have heard and seen recounts the most horrid sight seen by the watch. A lioness hath whelped in the streets, and graves have yawned and yielded up their dead. Fierce, fiery warriors have fought upon the clouds in ranks and squadrons and forms of war, which drizzled blood upon the capital. The noise, the noise of battle. Oh, um, the noise of battle hurtled in the air. Horses, uh, horse, horses did neigh, and dying men did groan. Ghosts did shriek, and squeal about in the streets. Oh Caesar, these things are all beyond use, and I do fear them. What can be avoided? Whose end is purposed by the mighty gods? Of all the wonders that I yet have heard. Yet Caesar shall. Yeah, yes, Caesar shall go forth. For these predictions as to the world in general, as this is. Caesar, when beggars die, there is no comet seen. Heavens themselves blaze for the death of princes. Cowards die. Cowards die. Cowards die many times before their death. The valiant never taste of death but worse. Of all the wonders that I yet have heard, it seems to me most strange that man should be Seeing that death of necessary will come and it will come.